Hi guys and welcome to my first video ever. Ah, pause for applause. Glad that's over. So thanks for clicking on the video, which means you want to see this look. Today I'm just going to do this look here. I'm not going to do the eyebrows or the face. I'm going to do some contouring in the face. I'm going to do the lips, but I'm not going to put foundation on because I'm on my phone and I don't have enough space on my phone to do the full look, which is sad. But hey ho, so I'm going to take all this makeup off and I've just put some uh, cell tape underneath my eyes and I've put it underneath in an angled shape so when I take the cell tape off it will be a sharp line at the side of my eye so we're just going to jump right in because I'm scared in case I won't have enough filler no space on my phone to video so I'm just going to jump right in and we're going to start with called Cosmopolitan and that is it there this is one of the foiled shadows and I'm just going to take a Morphe brush can't remember the number because it's came off but this is the Morphe brush and I'm going to spray it with Urban Decay D Slick just on the side of the brush that I'm going to use and I'm going to pack that on the lid because it's a shimmery kind of autumn makeup we're going to do today so I'm just going to pack that all over the lid hopefully you can see that I would try to get closer but I'm actually at my window ledge so any closer and I'll be falling out the window and they can't have that so then I'm going to go in with the Taper Blending Brush from Sigma E, it's the number E40. It's just a, um, a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go in with the colour Cocoa Bear. It's just a really nice matte, um, kind of, it's like a chocolate brown, it's not a dark brown, it's like a chocolate. And I'm using a Bobbi Brown uh, Shimmer Brick to, for the mirror. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to go in circular motions just around that shadow that we started with. Now the shadow might disappear and that's okay. We just wanted to know what we're going to start with. I'm going to do the other eye as well. And just put that all the way around in a circular motion. You don't need to be too, too careful with this because we're going to blend it out anyway. But just, and I'm trying to aim that right next to the tape. I really want the colour to hit off the sellotape. Now once you've got the desired effect, which I think I think I have, then I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to take this colour, which is Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. All my shadows are Makeup Geek that I'm using today, which wasn't meant to be, I just, just happened that way. <laughs> So I'm just going to blend that, feather those edges out just a tiny, tiny bit and just make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. And then now I'm going to take this colour from Makeup Geek as well which is called Mocha. It's a really dark, kind of husky brown. If that's even a word is that? I don't know. We'll just say it is. Okay, so... I'm just going to take that in the crease as well, just darkening up the crease and I'm trying to build up colour. And now this smoky eye is going to be quite a dark um, smoky eye, but I'm not, I don't want it blended too much, I really want it quite sharp. Other looks I'll be doing will be a lot more like probably what, probably the kind of looks everybody will want to wear. This is a kind of autumn look that I'm trying to achieve. So now we're going to take the colour Bitten. This is such a beautiful colour. I can't say enough nice things of this colour. It's just so nice. And I'm going to take a Nanshea blending brush. It doesn't have, it's just called the blending brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. And I'm just going to do that and kind of dab it on top and then flick off some product because I don't want it to be too dark. So now I'm just going to go in with a black shadow from Makeup Geek and it's the blackest shadow I have ever used in my life and it's called Corrupt and I'm going to take a, this is a tapered crease brush and that's from Nancy as well and I'm just going to take a wee bit and put it round the socket as if it was a cut crease and I'm just going to do that so now I'm just going 
So now I'm just going to go back in with that Cosmopolitan again and then I'm just going to what is happening to these brushes today? And I'm just going to put that back on top of the lid. I'm actually going to spray it just one more time. And then go back in on the lid with that colour again. And I just want to make that colour really pigmented. Now I'm just going to go in with this um, Naked Suit Brush. You guess it with the set. And I just use it for underneath brow highlight. And I'm just going to take the lightest colour here on the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And just place that underneath the eyebrow. All the way around. I'm going to go back and fix my eye my eyebrow as when I was taking the eyeshadow off the eyebrow kind of got stuck in the mix and that's that highlight it looks much better when you have good lighting because my lighting in the front is terrible absolutely terrible but I wanted to make the video and I wanted to get a heads up and try and get it in so now I'm going to do the eyeliner I'm just going to I'll do one line and put an eyelash on and then I'll go away and do the other eye just so I'm not wasting time and you can see one eye and you'll know what to do with the other one so that's fine so I'm just going to take um, Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and Black Noir and I'm going to take the Precise Bent Eyeliner Brush from Nanshi and that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to start from on top of the cellar tape if you can see and then build the line and I'm going up each time and then I'm making it thicker now I'm going to go over that and then take it across the cellar tape like so because I think I think doing eyeliner wings is kind of like either you know or you don't know and then once you learn you've always got your own way of doing it and everybody's way is different so nobody's right or wrong that's us there we go that's one done so i'm just going to put a pair of lashes on these lashes are let's see if you can see. these lashes are uh, red cherry lashes i love red cherry lashes they're so good i'm just going to pop them on and usually i put mascara on before this but there is really no need because i have mascara on underneath from before so i'm just going to pop that on and use tweezers i'd say and I use these ones, these are just be pink ones from Boots, you can get them for like £2 or so. I'm just going to pop that eyelash on. And that's that eyelash on and I'm going to take the tape off, do the other eye and come back. And I've done the other eye, put the eyelash on. Wait, it's still sucking. There So, I put the other eyelash on and I'm going to take the E40 brush and the colour Bitten again. See the camera colour? Tap off the brush and I'm going to go underneath the lash line. Just a tiny bit because there's a lot going on in the top half so I just want to accentuate that eyeshadow yeah. and I'm just going to take this mascara which is a lash extension mascara and I think it's called Dreamweave a client of mine gave it to me as a wee present a couple of months ago and it's really good for bottom lashes so I love it love it love it love it love it I use this is the messiest foundation you have ever seen. This is SA Lauder. Is it SA Lauder? Yeah. SA Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Sand. And I'm going to take this Kabuki brush. I think it's a Sigma one. Yeah, Sigma. I don't know the number of it because it's came off. Sorry, guys. But it's a Sigma one. And I'm just going to take the tiniest wee dribble onto. Now, so I'm just going to take it underneath like that. And it doesn't look like my colour, but it really is. And I'm just going to go over like that. And it looks like I'm highlighting, but I'm actually not. But if it's working as a highlight, that's fine. So I'm just going over the top of my actual foundation that I have underneath and just filling in the gap. So I've took it like over my lips because I'm going to do a nude look and I don't want any of my natural lip coming out. So now you can just see this big massive contour that's a bit farther down than it should be. So we're just going to take this Real Techniques brush, a contour brush, and I'm going to take the brown part here of, and I do that with it. 
and I just take that and I'm taking that just in the place where we want to contour and I do it with light motion like that and then I bring it around the cheek now I don't know if it depends on your cheekbones if you actually have cheekbones then this is good but I don't so I need to draw them in now go if you go rounded it makes your face seem a bit more rounded like around your cheek and it gives your face like a rounded effect which I like because I have quite a square face and now I'm just taking it up on top of where that foundation was and blending it in like that now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in medium tan don't ask what this is this scratch on top I have no idea but I'm going to use this well loved colour with a I can find it where are you I'm going to take this brush, it's the randomest brush ever, I don't know what the name of it is. I got it off eBay. If I can find, uh, uh, uh. If I can find the link, I will put it down below. Hi guys, sorry my camera cut out there. I've just um, contoured with Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and lined my lips with MAC Spice and used Velvet Teddy lipstick. Now I'm just going to go in with MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight. And I'm going to use a random brush from eBay and just get a bit on the brush and put it on the high points. Like so and just pack that on. It's just, oh, such a good highlight. And just pack that down the nose. And look at me. Hi guys, so that's the video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.